hello and welcome back to Kipper Tales. Um, this video is a little bit different from the others that we've done in that um, it's more sort of maintenance orientated and um, I've been putting off trying to bring up the woodwork a little bit on the um, rubbing strakes and things like that and they're starting to show um, their wear if you like so uh, now is the chance to, to, to do that. Unfortunately, like a lot of people, work's been getting in the way and what have you. Um, so it's only now that I'm sort of finding the opportunity. So we've got a, a reasonable weather window over the next sort of week or so. So my plan is to try and blitz it and um, try and get as much done as possible and hope that we can uh, get the job done, really, while the, while the sun shines. <laughs> So far we've been um, coming into pretty much starboard side two most of the time so the wood on that side has taken more of a beating. Uh, the advantage of that is that it's less work to um, rub down on that side because there's less wood stain on there. But uh, the port side is proving more of a handle because it's weathered a lot better and less wear and uh, therefore there's a lot more to try and take off. Um, but we're getting there, getting there. Okay, so we've hit our first little bit of a snag really, and that is yeah, we've got enough sanding pads. Um, it's actually proving a little bit more time consuming than expected. So, uh, Here's hoping, um, I'll have to go out shopping again. Uh, three days later. Well, here we are back at Kipper. And unfortunately, my sanding plans of the last few days uh, died a death. And that was just because my sander died a death. Unfortunately, it was actually only six days old. Um, so I'm not really impressed, but uh, it went back. And unfortunately, it sort of scuppered my plans for cracking on with it. Um, anyway, here's the new sander replaced. So thanks for the guys at Screwfix for doing that for us. Um, no quibbles, quite thoughtfully uh, and thankfully. Uh, the other job I've got to do while I'm here, if I can, is... Um, no, it's not a pizza. Uh, it's a new throttle cable. I ordered a new uh, throttle cable uh, based on recommendations from what the previous um, cable was. And it came and it was about seven inches too short. So, not impressed. So, uh, luckily, we managed to get another one through pretty quick. So, there's plenty to get on with. Uh, so, let's just hope that the weather plays ball. So, here it goes, then. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Shine. Let's see how long this one lasts, eh? day three of rubbing down on the boat and we're still working on the gunnels um, pretty heavy going actually um, lovely wood uh, it's nice stuff but, uh, still takes time just getting the old wood stain off and what have you which 
haven't really done any favours, I don't think, really. But... It seems to be pretty thick stuff. It's uh, worked quite well. But I think the wood underneath it is quite a nice wood. Yeah, everybody... I got a lot of advice from people about what to use on the wood and what have you after we've rubbed it down. And some people said if it's teak, just leave it. Um, just wash it down with seawater on a fairly regular basis, which I'm inclined to do, really, in a way. But um, I'm not sure about leaving it untreated in any way. But I guess, you know, there's some basis of experience for people saying this, but it's uh, great weather for actually doing this. Um, just unfortunately that it's taking so long. So um, Wilson and I are taking a tea break from uh, the woodwork. All the time it's threatening rain, we can feel it. But hopefully we'll get away with the rubbing down. He wants to keep using the sander, but I've told him, you know, you've got to keep rubbing it down as well. But Okay, so let's not dwell on who actually won this particular argument. <coughs> Moving on. Well, folks, as you can see, it's come up really well on the, the rubbing down. So just as a quick recap, here's how she looked with the former stain that was on there. Then after many hours of rubbing down, and this is how she looks now. Fantastic.